Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Ability 411. It's Monday, and I'm Tiffany. So before we get started with this week's topic, I bet you're wondering, what the hell is she wearing? Again. <laughs> um, I actually have a friend's Dirty 30 party to go to tonight, and we have to dress up. So this is my outfit. Yeah, this is my outfit. Kind of looking forward to it because... I rarely get to dress up. I mean, other than for work. So I'm looking forward to it and gonna go have a good time. But I wanted to make my video before I left because there's no telling what time I'm gonna get home tonight. And I wanted to post my video for you guys. Um, <clears throat> but uh, this week we had a viewer write in and ask us about um, disability dating websites and what our opinion was on them, if we've ever used them, are they trustworthy, and all that fun stuff. Um, <clears throat> we did a video uh, a while back on dating and dating 101 and all that other interesting tidbits, um, and we briefly talked about disability dating websites, but very, very briefly. Um, I've never been on a disability dating website. Um, I've had my friends set me up on like eHarmony, which was a total bust. Uh, but I've never used a disability dating website. Um, I don't know about the other 411ers. They can tell you about their experiences. Uh, but uh, Erica and I did a blog on the Spoken Confessions um channel, which you can find on, I'm sorry, on the Colors channel, um, and the blog is called Spoken Confessions, which you can find on the Disability Today Network. Um, on that blog, we listed some uh, websites. Um, there are some, you know, credible websites out there. Um, finding them is tough. Um, but you know, there's some, there's some good ones out there. Um, you know, just, just like with anything we talk about, do your research, do your homework, you know, go on care, care, see, uh, if there's what, what the buzz is about, see if anybody's, you know, on there talking about it. Um, you know, check out Facebook, see if there's anything that your friends are talking about on Facebook, not that some random strangers talking about, you know, if you're a part of any groups, see if they're talking about anything. Um, but, it, you know, if you go to these sites and the first thing that they're, that they're asking for is money, that would be a big red flag to me. Because, um, you know, a good site will let you come in and take a look for free. You know, they won't let you have a full membership, but they'll let you come in and have, you know, like a free pass or a free weekend or whatever where you can come in and kind of meet people. Or, <clears throat> I'm sorry, view, um, you know, some people's profiles and see who's hanging around before you actually have sign up and have memberships and before they start, you know, hooking you up with people or you hooking up with people or whatever, however that stuff works. Um, but whatever you do, don't give your money to a foreign website. Sorry, guys, I got to take a sip. I think I'm trying to get sick. Oh, it's been really hot in LA and going in and out, in and out, hot and cold, hot and cold. I think I'm trying to get sick. So <clears throat> keep your fingers crossed for me that I'm not trying to get sick or whatever you can cross, keep them crossed. But, uh, <coughs> I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, don't give any websites your credit card information, your banking statements, whatever. Um, because that could possibly lead to identity theft, and you don't want that. So, if they ask for it right away, click out of that crap, delete it from your browser, whatever. Say bye-bye. Um, and, you know, if you do find one that you're comfortable with, and... There's, you know, um, a lot of disabled people in there or what have you not. Or even if you go on one that's an able-bodied website that you feel comfortable with, awesome. 
<coughs> I am so sorry. Um, you know, and you are in there and you're enjoying it and you, you know, you meet somebody that you like and, you know, you're talking to this person and you guys decide to meet up in person. Um, like I said before in my other video, go somewhere that you, that you, you know. Um, make sure it's A, a public place. Don't go meeting like behind, you know, the Walmart parking area or loading dock, whatever. Mm -mm. Uh, B, always tell somebody where you're going. Make sure they know. C, if you can, take somebody with you. You know, even if it's for like two seconds. You know, just to let that person know that that the person you're meeting is not like a psycho killer or something. You know, just to let them know, hey, I've, I'm here. I've met this person. We've met, you know, whatever. Um, and uh, I always have a fallback plan. And I talked about this in my previous video. Uh, I always have my friend call me like 30 minutes into the date. And... You know, because if my date's going bad, I don't want to be there. I'm not that, I'm, yes, I'm that kind of girl. If my date's going bad, I don't want to be there. I have better things to do with my time than being a crappy date. So, <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I really am sorry. You guys know this never happens to me. Mm. But if my date's going bad, I don't want to be there. So, I always have a friend call me and, you know, 30 minutes in and be like, hey, you know, are, are things going okay? And I'm the actress I am. If things are going good. I'll be like, hey, mom, everything's fine. You know, yeah, I'll call you tomorrow. I love you too. And if things are going bad, I'll be like, oh my God, the dog's in the hospital. I'm on my way. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I've done it. I've done it a few times and I'm so sorry if my dates that have been watching this or, or if my past dates that I've been to are watching this video. It's really for the better. Just, it's not you, it's me, I promise. But yeah, so, while well, this video is getting kind of long. Um, but yeah, so, dating websites. Watch for the creepers. Um, it's another thing. People... People aren't on the internet are not always who they seem. I mean, just be careful and don't give money. Don't give your, you know, your banking information, no matter, just don't give your banking information. I mean, unless you, <coughs> unless you feel comfortable, you know, like if you've done your research on that site and, you know, they're an accredited site or whatever and you know, you've, uh, you know, talked to somebody who's been on that site and they've had successful, uh, matches on that site, then yeah, but just do your research on it. Um, and if you do find somebody that you like and you want to meet, you know, be smart, be smart. You know, your body is, uh, <laughs> for lack of a better word, a sacred temple and you have to worship your body. So, you know, just take care of your body and um, protect it, protect it, and be smart about it. So that's my advice on dating and disability dating and websites and all that other kind of stuff. I wish you luck. Let me know how it goes. All right, I have to go finish getting ready and go to my Dirty 30 party. All right, guys, um, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, email us at ability411 at gmail.com. And I will see you guys next Monday. Bye.